All right, Lionel. All right, so if you can't tell, we're filming the intro after this event has already occurred. I'm completely destroyed. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy. We are going to do today basically the Super League triathlon, how it will unfold if you make it all the way through. So round one, we did it as a 225-yard swim to a 3.5K bike because I chose the worst route on Zwift on gravel and took forever. So we ended up biking longer than it actually will take. And then a 1K run that we mapped out with the rolling wheel so we know it was accurate. Pretty challenging course. That's round one. Then you get four minutes rest and then straight into round two. Then we gave 10 minutes rest. If you make it to the final in the event, you'll actually get like three hours rest. So we made it a lot harder on ourselves. Yeah. And then in that round, once again, the swim, bike, run, and then it's run, bike, swim, and then it's swim, bike, run. All with four minutes recovery in between. Absolutely horrible. Trevor, do you have anything to add? Uh, I made it to the last swim section, and I hope you. Hopefully, I pushed you somewhat you, you, in preparation. You, I for thought Saturday. you performed really, really well. But hey, you'll have to watch a video where I'm going to give it all away. Yeah. Also, for the people that don't understand this race, uh, yeah. tell us a little bit about the rules. Is it in Malibu? Is it ocean water swim? <laughs> or uh, are you going with Cam Worth? Yeah. Well, right. How does Come it go? Now. Come on. Now. How, how? What is the arena game? Come on now. If you could explain the it. The arena quick. game. Well. Who would have thunk it? It's in an arena, and it's in a 50-meter pool. There's going to be lots of people spectating, so it'll be really fun. You should be able to get the most out of yourself if you ever are going to get the most out of yourself. And so it's a 200-meter long course swim straight to a 4K, but it's in uh, actually Crit City on Zwift. So it should take around five to five and a half minutes, the bike. It's non-drafting, otherwise I probably wouldn't have done it because I would have been complete non-factor. So it's non-drafting on TT bikes in Zwift. It's watts per kilogram, so there's a weight component as well, weight to power component, and then it's straight off the bike onto a curved treadmill, which they have those uh, run sensors on to monitor the pace. And it's basically uh, run as fast as you can for a K, and that's one round. And if you make it all the way to the final, it's five full rounds. How do you feel before the first one? Freezing. Freezing, I'm excited to start. <sighs> Nervous. Are you doing no heart rate? I put it on the bike. I don't know if I'll be able to put it on, but it doesn't matter. Whatever. You're doing 225, right? A 225, yeah, just to make it the actual 200 meters. Um. Athletes, take your mark! Up! warmed up a bit better. <laughs> I 
Hurry when it clips, point five. <sighs> this is the part where I really suck. Fuck do we do this event? Why? It's gonna be fucking horrible. <coughs> Holy fuck. Disgusting. Why? Why? That was the first one. You know, I have a towel in there. It was alright, it's fine. A bit, uh, the swim we gotta warm up. It's very hypoxic. I didn't warm up. <laughs> <coughs> I was like, first 50, flood the system completely. <laughs> Turn into brick. <laughs> Alright, first Super League interval. I'm shaking a little. What are we at? Whoa! 6.0. Oh, that's, that's a record. Hey, that's... you better be setting up transition. Oh, You're yeah. You have to go again. How, am I, how long? Well, how was the first set? Um, <clears throat> definitely want to do some high intensity in the pool before you dive in and try and do high intensity because otherwise, the horrible response that your body undergoes when you do some intensity happens during the race. That's a big problem. Wait, athletes take your mark, go. Yeah. No ready. <laughs> okay. Athletes take your mark! Go! came out. <laughs> Henry Schumann's 25 seconds up.
right when it flicks to point three. Any better on that one? Yeah, better for sure. 6.4. Final round. How do you feel after that one? I would take an Not bad. <coughs> better for sure. I got to get warmed up for this. Like, warm up's huge. <coughs> huge. If you don't get warmed up, I mean, you're. You get last place. It's that easy. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> what are we doing now? Man, it burns so bad when I dive in my finger. Athletes, take your mark. Go. Buddy. What do you feel like you need to run to be competitive? 4.8. Now we're we're back in semi-threshold territory. <laughs> um, to be competitive, those curves, I have no idea what's like what's going on there.
All right, how'd you feel after that one? <laughs> well, I did that one definitely more threshold, so I'm not feeling like super crazy bad. The race is gonna be just disgusting, just complete disgust. Uh, this will probably be my last Super League race. <laughs> I don't ever want to do a Super League race ever again. <laughs> I don't want to train for this ever again. This is one training session for this race, and I don't ever want to do it ever again. So, so there's that. How does that, how does that sum it up for you? But you know what though? Jokes aside, it's, it is a cool, really cool. If you like suffering, if you like like in your face, Ugh, feel disgusting type efforts. Oh, train for one of these things. Holy cow. This is not the Iron Man or the 70.3. If you feel like this at any point, you are, except the final kilometer, you're not doing it right. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Whew. All right. All right. Henry has a minute 30 lead. Minute 30, the oh game is complete. God. He's gotta have like 10 seconds most. Uh, it's a minute 30. Oh. <laughs> are you ready? Athlete, take your mark. Go! Two thirty eight. <laughs> Lone Ranger. Final round. Final heat. It's the finals, you're in it. Let's go. All right, Lano, what was your initial thoughts after the session? When the first, the first one was horrible, like horrible. I think you gotta, uh, number two was better. So that tells you something about this type of racing, how important it is to prime the system. If you just jump in there and you're not like, I'm talking fully activated, you are going to suffer and do worse. So, good lesson there. Huge warm up. Not huge, but like you need intensity in the warm up. Because you got no time to be warming up in the race. Um, I mean, it's not my strengths for sure. I'm more of like a grind it out about 10% less than that. That's probably my strength. So, I'm not gonna kid myself, I'm not naive. You know, I'm gonna be not at the level <laughs> of some of these guys, probably in all three, but put them all together and transcend yourself on the day. And I might, I might be able to get into the final, we'll see. 
can I win the thing? I mean, I sure as hell will try, but like, let's not be naive here. Quite frankly, I think if you are in capacity to win it, you're probably not gonna be in capacity to win Oceanside <laughs> four weeks later, because what's required to do 10 minutes insane is very different than what's required to do three hours, 40 minutes insane. So it's gonna be a fun test. The bike obviously would be the deciding factor for me. Can I bridge back up? If I can bridge back up, then I know I can run well. I know I'll be able to do a, a 250, probably like a 250, okay? Now, I don't know what that is on the curve, but on the track, I, I'd be able to do a 250. And so, I mean, this is why we, this is why we hold races, you know? You don't know what's gonna happen. If we knew what was gonna happen, we wouldn't need to hold the race, so. It'll be fun. First goal is to, like, not blow up in the swim because like I felt like I could blow up first round in the swim I became like a piece of concrete second goal try and get either top uh, four in my heat or top two fastest times after those four to make it into the final and if I make it into the final I mean for a slow old Long course guy who's focused on Ironman for the last approximately 18 months. I think making it into the final would be a good job, buddy. <laughs> and if I don't, I'll be out there cheering everybody on. Uh, and it will have been a lot of fun preparing. Well, I thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I highly recommend going out and trying some of these super short events because it is a lot of fun after, not during. And uh, so hopefully now you understand the format and the final will be streamed on triathlonlive.tv. So I hope you guys will tune in. All right guys, so I'm really excited to be partnering with The Feed. I discovered them, as you know, um, I've you know struggled with nutrition many times in many races and I've tried many different things. And I discovered them just through that process because they basically offer everything on the market. Um, anything you could want to do nutritionally or test, they have it. And so uh, I just found myself on the site ordering lots of different things and trying different things. And uh, yeah, so I'm very, very excited. Um, one of the things, if you join my club on the feed site, uh, after each race, I'm going to post what I did nutritionally for that race and give you any insight that I uh, see and you know you can do with that as you'd like. As well, uh, each year you'll get $80 worth of feed credit and $20 immediately when you sign up. And then when you spend over $65 on the site, you also get a free uh, LS No Limits water bottle. So it's a really cool deal. Um, I'm really excited to be partnering with them. I'm really grateful and I hope you guys will sign up for my club.